getting ready for a date night. Figured I would turn the camera on and chit chat with y'all real quick. Look, I'm trying to get as much content as possible um, since I'm not doing a lot more vlogs. You know, whew, girl, my when I tell you my scalp is on fire. Girl, what's my corrector? <laughs> um, we're gonna do a full beat. Full. We got bacon, banana powder. We got everything. We're gonna we're gonna go crazy. I will probably try to attempt to do a cut crease. Cut creases are so difficult. Um, you gotta really practice it. But shout out to Angel, aka Nezzy Naps. Um, I don't know if she watches my get ready with me videos, but she gave me some advice on how to make my makeup pop. And girl, you're the reason why my makeup for my mom's birthday party was on point because I took your advice. I took my time. I went to different lighting to make sure because right now I'm doing my makeup in front of the window. This is natural lighting. Um, but yeah, if you ever look at her, uh, her videos, again, this is Nezzy Naps. Her makeup is so pretty, really pretty. And I also took your advice and did more foundation than I normally do. Um, I normally don't like heavy makeup. Even my sister was like, we're going to go, girl. We, <laughs> Y'all, my sister's crazy. Ain't she extra? Y'all think I'm extra. I know that right there was extra. But y'all think I'm extra. My sister's country extra. But, oh, hold on. My hearing went out in one ear. I wear, let me show you what I wear. Right here. Here she go. Maybelline. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. That's what I wear. She's like, oh, no. We need to go to the mall and get you some Fenty. I'm like, I don't need her. I, I don't need her. We good. We good. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, y'all, this is a quick impromptu chit chat. I was going to do a video and make it be a get ready with me, no talking voiceover. But I'm like, no, let me go. Oh, let me do some correct over there. Just a little bit. I'm like, no, let me talk about a little bit. Um... Because I'm going to solicit solicit some advice from y'all. Let me tell you something. I'm one of those type of people. I'm always willing to learn from others. Um, I don't think I know everything. I like to have friends of different ages, different backgrounds. I recently befriended someone at a bar. And I don't know how old she is. But I'm going to guess she's in her late 50s. And um... To me, that right there, that's that's the best friend age. <laughs> Y'all, I find sometimes women in my age category, and now that I think about it, I, most of my friends are exactly my age or older than me. I don't have a lot of younger friends. Nick is my youngest friend, but Nick is an old soul. Um, and he's just in his early 30s. I don't have any friends in their 20s. Not that I would be willing to, but again, I just find that people in my age category, it tends to be very competitive type of behavior. Um, I need people who kids are my age. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah, y'all know how I like my man already. I need for you to be a triple A me, uh, member, have you a triple A card. <laughs> I know y'all probably think, how old is your man? We don't know. That's a whole other conversation. A lot of people are born, uh, people who are born, especially in Ethiopia, depending on what year they were born, they were born on the countryside and their records are lost due to moving and all this. And so he's anywhere between mid forties to late forties, but he doesn't know exactly how old he is. And I've heard that from, like I said, a lot of people from Ethiopia, even from South, South America. I know someone who's from Colombia and she has no idea how old she is. Anyway, I'm way off subject girl. We're going to be talking about a little bit about, y'all know how we do it. We talk about YouTube, what I'm watching, and personal life. I ain't watching a dang old thing on YouTube. Y'all boring. Yo, the YouTubers are boring. Uh, like, seriously, there are so many people that I'm not watching. Now I get on YouTube just to load up videos and to look at recommendations or for JB. I'm not on YouTube as much anymore. People, I, you know, people are doing the same. Y'all, let me do my makeup. They on here doing the same stuff. It's boring. Boring, excuse me. Um, no one's original. You know what I mean? You have your few people, and I know y'all know what I'm talking about, that you go to and they're consistent and whatever, but then it's like, can we try something else new? I mean, get creative. That's why sometimes I take breaks because I'm like, okay, um, I've already done this type of twist out. Like, 
what else do I got? Excuse the noise, my husband's taking in the, the truck. So yeah, I'm like, so I'm at the point to where I'm not even watching some of my regulars. You know, I'm looking at the notifications and based on the, on the notification, yay or nay, I'll watch it. But if not, I ain't watching it. So we're just gonna go right into what I'm watching on TV. Hold on y'all, let me do this eye real quick. All right, y'all. I had to pause for a minute. Child, I had to knock, uh, knock. I had to kick JB out of here. My child talking about, <laughs> he's been talking about Texas every now and then ever since we've gotten back, right? So he's like, everybody's just a little bit bigger in Texas. I know this. What, what's your point? What, what, what are we talking about? Then he's like, it's like a bunch of balloons walking around. I said, you know what? Get out. My husband started laughing. I'm like, y'all both, you can get out. He was so confused about the amount of water burgers JB was. Cause we don't have a lot of water burgers here in Phoenix. He's like, I see a bunch of water burgers. I said, we're in Texas, baby. Let me dim this down to some of y'all. All right, this is what my eyes are looking like. I don't know what that's supposed to look like, but it is what it is. Let's just go ahead with my foundation. Look, I said I would take my time, but whatever. Um. Okay, y'all. So yeah, we ain't watching nothing on YouTube. Oh, I'm running out of this. Hold on, y'all. I know I got some other. You know what? I can't find it. Let me put my primer on. Hopefully, this will come down. Um, girl, y'all need to get y'all some HBO. HBO is like fourteen dollars. You can just get the app and watch whatever you want. When I tell you the Outsider is my show. Mm. Girl, it is, I know one of you uh, mentioned on my last video that, you know, I got you hooked on it. Girl, uh-uh, Busby got us hooked on it. Let's blame her. <laughs> uh, so, y'all, um, I was kind of watching it while I was in and out of sleep this morning. And I just realized the girl, the, the black girl, she's almost like a private eye on the show. She's the actress. Cause she, she slipped up on her accent. And I was like, cause she plays an American. I'm like, um, you're English. Cause you slipped up. She says something with an English accent. I said, let me look up and see who this is. Her name is uh, Christina. She's the um, actress that played Harriet. In the Harriet Tubman biopic movie or whatever. Yeah, she just, I didn't recognize her cause she has these long braids in this particular series. That's not enough. Um, so yeah, it's good, but it's so funny. You know what? But it, that was so funny. Um, I kind of thought it was her, but I wasn't sure. Um, some people can be chameleons, you know, have different looks. I know, I'm, I think I'm one of those type of people that I can look different a lot. Um, that looks a little dark. What the heck? Y'all see that? Yeah. Yeah, I need to balance that out that that's too dark i need to balance that out with this three i could tell that with by my glasses that means it's way too dark i forgot to tell y'all in the last chit chat that i watched the joker so dark with joaquin phoenix it is such a dark movie um, not a lot of violence, but the moments of violence were like, what the hell just happened? Um, but yeah, very sad. And you know a movie is good when you're rooting for the bad guy. You know what I mean? The bad guy, it seems right. And that's kind of sad. Um, yeah, very dark, very sad. I think it could be triggering for people, certain people with, um, borderline personality dis disorder i'm just gonna say it but hey he absolutely deserved the win oscar for this movie because it was a good movie now i have not seen parasite yet i probably will i heard it was really good yeah this is a lot better this bottom here still looks a little see how she looks a little bit it's okay I'm gonna go in with a little bit. What else, what else, what else, y'all? Binge watch Lock and Key. At first, I didn't want to. Y'all, my, my spirit of discernment is on point, I think. I, I, 
my child has been playing, has pretended to be a uh, Link from Legend of Zelda for about a month now. So we, we gonna have to ignore this. Um, I can tell when something is, I'm like, okay, it, it, it can be good. I know it's gonna be good, but there's something, something's going on that's a little dark. So Lock and Key is based off of a gra graphic novel, excuse me. And at first I didn't want to look at it because just the images of it was like, oh, this, is, this looks too... I don't like these shows that try to target the preteens and it's a little too dark. I honestly think it's a little too dark for, for teens, but I guess these kids are like it nowadays. So sure enough, I'm not going to give away anything, but sure enough, towards the end, there's a revelation of, you know, one of the characters. I'm like, okay, see. But yeah, check it out. It's a new series on Netflix. And I liked it. Season one. Stranger Things season four is coming. I don't know why I did all that. Season four is coming. Can't wait. Um. All right, she's good. She is mad at the hell, girl. I look like a dang on mannequin. Yes. Um. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do things out of order. I know I'm gonna break all of the rules when it comes to doing makeup, but I'm not a professional. I don't claim to be. Whatever. Um, because yeah, I'm gonna I'm do everything out of order. You, you just don't, I'm just letting you know now, okay? Um, what else am I watching? Good Girls is back. Sling TV raised our prices, you guys. I have the both the blue and orange, and now I'm paying $29. So, with everything, including Netflix, I'm paying $71. Granted, that's still cheaper than direct TV. I picked up some bull. It's still cheaper than, than what I was paying with direct TV, but still, I'm like, why am I paying? I, that's literally almost double what I was paying before. Um, And I don't know what the deal is, but long story short, Good Girls is back, but Good Girls was with NBC. I don't know what happened, but NBC is no longer with Sling TV. The same thing happened with HBO because I was going to add the HBO package to Sling TV. HBO is no longer with Sling TV. So it forces you to get all these extra. I'm not doing it anymore because I already I'm already am purchasing HBO because Sling TV did away with HBO. I'm not gonna purchase the NBC for Good Girls. I would just purchase the Good Girls um the series throughout. Yeah. I probably shouldn't be doing it like this. I don't care. I can't even see you but I don't care. But girl, yeah, she's back with that fine ass. Mm. Now he young and fine. The guy that plays Rio, he's married to a sister too. I was stalking them on Instagram. <laughs> no shame, girl. I was stalking them for a while. She's cute too, his his wife. Um, I missed, totally missed, missed it. Girl, let's do my lips now, y'all. Um, We're going to do red. We're going to do a bunch of stuff. I typically mix about three or four lipsticks together. Don't don't get mad. Let me look at my notes. Let me see what else I'm watching, y'all. Better Call Saul, which is a spinoff from Breaking Bad. I started watching Breaking Bad, then I stopped. It got a little dark. I'm like, what's going on, Walter? You a chemistry teacher. You needed extra money. Now I'm this. But Better Call Saul, Jimmy is just one of those characters who's an absolute idiot that you love you can't help but to feel sorry for him <clears throat> but yeah um season five is coming i'm just re-watching season four that's pretty but we're gonna we're gonna do something else to her <clears throat> y'all i was really excited to watch just today I have a child. Y'all yeah, know this. I was super excited to watch Zombies 2. <laughs> Isn't that bad? I even recorded it. It wasn't good, as good as the first one. Zombies 2 is one of those Disney movies, girl. It wasn't as good as the first one. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm layering my lipstick. So what I like to do is... I don't know what I like to do, but we, we playing around. This is Thalia, I think. Yes. Look at that. 
it's gonna be a bomb look so yeah that's all what i'm watching on tv so okay so this is the unsolicited advice that i'm going to be asking for my 40 and over uh viewers or subscribers i would like to know you know before i start sharing my opinions on turning 40 this year because i am turning 40 this year um and I honestly do believe that 40 is the new 20. And 40 has been the new 20 for a long time. I mean, some of the hottest and most successful people are older. You know, I don't even think these kids, especially millennial, the Nicki Minaj's, Beyonce, um, they're not young. You know, they're a little bit older. So I'm excited to turn 40. So let me get back to this and we'll go back to why I'm excited. I'm just looking for, you know, um, this is soliciting advice now for those of you who are 40 and over. What are some things that you would advise those in their 30s to start doing or just tips or it, it can be in any area. It could be sex, level, we can keep it kind of um, ready to eat for everyone. Um, financial, relationships, what self-care, whatever it may be. Leave it down below. I... I love to hear from everyone um, and like I mentioned earlier I keep friends of all different ages most of the time is to learn from them they don't know that I'm watching I'm a I'm a people watcher studier I study people and so and I study my friends I learn from them I I teach them it's a give or take relationship um as I stated I think any healthy healthy relationship should be about balance okay girl I'm getting I'm going all over the place I know so I'm so excited about turning 40 y'all not I shouldn't say super excited I guess I am I, I don't know what's the word I should use I guess I should say I'm ready I'm looking forward to it I don't even tell people I 30 I'm 39 I let them know I'm turning 40 this year or this is my last year in my 30s and a lot of the times you know the other person's like wow you don't even look at girl I know that <laughs> no <laughs> no but Y'all yeah, seen pictures of my family members. I the women in my family age very well, but I know that I look better now as far as physically 10, 15 years than I did the previous 10 or 15 years. And I'm looking forward to that regal beauty that you get in your 50s. And when I tell you the women in my family, y'all saw the the um vlogs. The birthday the women in my family age gracefully. They are very beautiful when they get it's like they, you know, get better with wine. It's like they're wine. You know, they get better with age, better looking. Um my mom, my mother was stunning when she was in her twenties and thirties, but she was beautiful in her forties. She still is in her forties and fifties. I think that certain women reach their peak beauty. So yeah, girl, besides that. <laughs> Look, I'm not vain. This is not about all about looks. Um, overall, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm excited about entering my 40s. That's why, how I should add it. That's how I should say. Um, absolutely, there are some things I wish I would have accomplished. But I would say this, maybe not. You guys, I really do think that we have to be okay with how things are going. Whether it be good or bad, we have to, at a certain point, you have to come to terms to with the way things have gone in your life. Um, the woman that I befriended not too long ago, I said that I befriended at the bar, she's in her mid-50s. And I asked her, I'm like, do you ever regret, regret having children? Because she's never been married. She's never had children. And she's like, well, I knew I never wanted to have kids, but I thought that I would eventually marry someone who had kids. You know, cause she said I, she loves children. She knew that having children for herself wasn't in her cards, but to at least be a mother to children that are, you know. So I said, you know what? I've come to terms that, you know, marriage isn't in the cards for everyone. And, you know, also not be, being a mother isn't in the cards for everyone. I said, but you still have time. Look, we should not allow. I think a lot of us feel like, oh, my God, if I haven't done it by 40, if I haven't done it by 50, it's never going to happen. I know so many people. Like I said, I have friends of different ages. One of my good friends. Um, well, I shouldn't say good friend. I should, She's more of a friend slash associate. She reach in my opinion uh the equivalent of success in her 70s and i i admire her so much for that to where she didn't allow her age to stop her from achieving her dreams and what and to pursue that you know a lot of people view okay i'm too old to do that or you know don't allow that so i guess you know 
entering my 40s and all that um yes i wish i was making more money yes i wish i was 20 pounds smaller hell uh 30 pounds smaller and i'm gonna be transparent with you i wish my relationship was stronger with uh some of my family members with with my husband not to say it's weak or bad but i just wish it was stronger um and that's because i'm the type of person i have high expectations and i shouldn't do that um but as I stated, I have come to terms or I'm trying to slowly come to terms with being okay with where I'm at. Because what I found, and this is something I didn't learn, girl, it took a while, that when you try to go against what's already set for you, that's when you start to suffer a little bit more. When you basically do things out of God's will. I'm a believer, so that's what I believe in. When you go against his will, there is a right... There is a perfect time and place for everything. There's a season for everything. Whether that be relationships, whether that be, whether that be career, love, that's relationships. All of that financial, you may not be ready for that, you know, increase right now. You may have to, he's preparing you for that, okay? I may not be ready for an extra $10,000 because I know me, I'm going to go spend it. So I have to develop a certain type of habits in order to be blessed for that in the future. So all the things that I went through to, through my 20s and 30s, that mold, was molding me for the person in my 40s and 50s. And that's really have, how you have to look at life. Some of these millennials, oh my gosh, they complain about suffering. There is not one person I know who has not suffered. And yet some of us may suffer, and I don't even want to say suffer, because that's just, some of us may go through harsh, may go through things a little bit worse off than others, but 10, 15 years from now, that person's one of the strongest people. Y'all, I'm gonna I'm get a little bit personal, because I know these people don't watch my video. I worked with some women who I admired, and this was when I worked for hospice, and they were extremely strong and dependent and feminine, excuse me, um, very um, pro-feminist women. Come to find out, those two women were previously in uh, domestic abusive r or marriages, actually. But I was shocked to know that, that she went through all, because the person I was speaking to did not seem like she would ever let someone touch her. But that's what I'm talking about. You have no idea what people have gone through. And you have and not to say that you have to go through with someone, you know, abusing you, but people go through things and it it changes them. You know what I mean? Some people it changes them for the worse, but overall it changes you for the better. So absolutely I've gone through some stuff in my life, but I don't allow that to determine my future. Instead, I use that as a stepping stone. I learn from it. At least I try, y'all. I really do. I try to learn from my mistakes. Sometimes I keep doing the same stupid stuff over and over and over. But I'm human, you know? And what I've really been trying to do lately, like I said, is be okay with where I'm at right now. Don't compare myself. I used to do that. It's real easy to do on social media. Social media is fake. I can choose to show you what I put on my, I, I can choose my Instagram. I can choose somebody else's Instagram for my life and you would never know it. I don't do that. But you see what I'm saying? It's fake. It's not real. That stuff that you see, that's why people get so, that's why people get shocked and surprised when someone all of a sudden and this is a trigger someone all of a sudden commits suicide because they're like well they seemed happy and she just posted and yada you have no idea what people are going through yeah girl i'm gonna add some little mm, look see i added that i mean i already look blessed but right now you know this is gonna add to it this is all look i, I i'm like a walk in corinthians <laughs> to do my hair okay gonna add my matte finding finishing spray but <laughs> my nyx i shouldn't have done that mm -hmm. this is my date night outfit it is a cute form fitting dress um got it for look i'm a ross i'm a ross shopper got it for do you see that yes nine bucks from ross really really cute but she's form fitting so uh we got this maiden form girdle, Spanx. I'm not playing. All right, y'all, this is my hair, my makeup. <sighs> Show y'all the dress and the jacket I'm wearing. With this is the shoes I'm wearing, hold on. Won't they be cute? Yes. All right, y'all, this is the dress. 
Yeah, girl, got that girl on. Got that girl on. Yeah, it's come through. Low, long booty. <laughs> All right, y'all. Jacket. Alert huh? like this. Oh, yeah. How does mommy look, baby? Good. Good? You like this dress? Yeah. Yeah? All right, y'all. Take care. Bye.